In this video, I will show you how to create my custom light slider card with RGB colors and a matching light switch card for your Home Assistant dashboard. Here you can see it in action on my dashboard. The card with the slider also shows the brightness percentage. If you want the full code, you can find the link in the description. Before we start, please make sure you have button card and my cards bundle installed. Let's begin. We will start with the light slider card. We add an entity, set the label to off and set some basic settings. Show icon true, show label true, show state false. Then we set the tab action to toggle and hold action to more info. I will put the state attribute here, but we will come back to it later. For the slider, we add a custom field with a custom card, my slider v2. For the entity, we reference the main entity ID. The color mode is brightness. Let's style the slider. The styling is quite basic. We remove the background from the container, set overflow to visible and border radius to 100 pixel. The card gets a fixed height, some padding and a background. This is the most important part. We set a linear gradient that goes from 30% wide to 100% wide. You can use a website to generate these and copy them over if you want something else. For the track, we set overflow visible and background to none. We do the same for progress. For the thumb, we will set a background depending on the state and some margins to position it inside the card. We can't really see the slider yet, as the card doesn't have a good place to put it. So let's continue with styling the card. Once we set grid template areas, you can see that we can now see our full slider. For the icon, we set a width and color. The IMG cell is a bit more elaborate as you want to create the black circle of the icon. We set the background color, the size and position it with some margins. At the end, we put border radius 100% to create the circle. The name is quite simple again. Justify self start, font size and a margin button. For the color, we want it to be black when the entity is on and return contrast 20 if not. We can copy this JavaScript code as we will need it a few more times. Lastly, we set opacity to 0.7. Now for the card, we set a fixed height of 90 pixel. For the background color, we can reuse the JavaScript code we just copied and change the color variables to yellow and contrast 2. You can see our card slowly takes shape. We set box shadow to none, border radius to 24 and some basic padding for the card. For the label, it is similar to the name. We set justify self start, font size, font weight and margin top. For the color, we can copy the same JavaScript code again. We only have the custom slider left to style, which only needs a bit of padding right. Now the card is pretty much functional. However, as you can see, it says off, even though the light is on. We wanted to show the percentage, so let's fix that. Let's go back up to the state attribute. Here we add value on. For the label, we set a bit of JavaScript code. This looks at the attribute brightness and calculates the percentage. To have a good looking round number, we also use the math round function. The only thing missing is showing the RGB color. If you don't want this function, you can leave the card as is. But if you want the card to be the color of the light, we have to add a new background when the card is on. This JavaScript code looks at the RGB color attribute of the entity. If it exists, it will return that color as the background. To make sure it still works, if the light doesn't return a valid RGB value, it defaults back to yellow. And that's it. Our first card is ready to use. Let's create a matching light switch card. For this one, we set an entity and start by setting some variables. I do this to make it easier to use this card as a button card template and for you to adapt it to your own dashboards. We set some defaults for the variables. So for icon on and icon off, we just default to the entity's icon. The default color is yellow. We set show label to false and show state to true. The tab action is toggle and the hold action is more info. For this one, we will just configure state immediately, as it is quite straightforward. For the state value on, we want to set the icon as the icon on variable and the background to the color variable. For the off value, we set the icon off variable and the background color to contrast to. I have a small indentation error here, but I will fix it in a second. Let's add a custom field named icon2. We use another button card and set the toggle switch icon depending on the state of the entity. The styling of the card is super simple. We just set a color and size for the card and icon. Let's style our main card. We begin by setting the grid template areas. You can now slowly see our card take shape. After that, we continue with the icon. We set a size and some padding. For the color, we use some JavaScript code again. We want it to be black when the card is on and contrast 20 when it's off. We can copy this code as we will need it again later. The rest is almost the same as for the light slider card. 
For the name, we set justify self start, the font size, and some margins. For the color, we use the code we just copied and an opacity of 0.7. The card gets the same height of 90 pixels like the slider card. We set the same background color, box shadow, border radius, and padding like the slider card as well. For the state, we pretty much set the same things as we set for the label on the card before. We just add some more padding to position it nicely next to the additional icon. Lastly, we have to position the icon to custom field. We add some margins and justify self end. We set the width and some padding right. For the color, we paste in the JavaScript code again. And that's our two light cards finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for your own dashboard. As I said, if you are interested in the full code for these cards, you can find the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. I have other videos where I create more custom cards, show off some cool Hux cards, or a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching!